Hey friends, today I'm gonna to be sharing some products that didn't work for me. Although it may have worked for you, these are some things that just don't work for me. So let's go ahead and get started. So I bought this St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer because um, Dr. Oz talked about it in his TV show. And I trust Dr. Oz. And he said that this was a good moisturizer and it's as good as the really expensive ones. And so I tried it let me tell you i tried it for two months straight or even longer i was i've been using this since towards the end of my pregnancy till now and i've decided i can't use this anymore because it's just not moisturizing enough for my face at night so i decided to go back to egyptian egyptian magic so this didn't work for me i have oily combo skin and the fact that this wasn't moisturizing enough kind of says that it just doesn't moisturize the skin well for me it didn't when i was pregnant i bought this dvd it's called the tracy anderson pregnancy project there are nine fitness dvds and there's like a dvd per month that you do and you work out to it i just thought it was so boring i couldn't do it and I think it's because I'm so like when I used to work, I, ha I haven't worked out yet since giving birth to my son. Um, <laughs> but when I was working out, I really liked um, Shalene Johnson Turbo Fire, Turbo Jam. I really, <laughs> this is really embarrassing, but I really liked hip hop abs, you know, with, with Shanti. <laughs> I just, I love like, I love personalities that are like, yeah, go, go, go. And this just wasn't for me. It just, no, I really like Shaleen Johnson's personality. She's like a cheerleader when she's working out and she pumps me up. So like when I decide to start working out again, I'm definitely going to do like, you know, turbo fire again because she's just so fun. I understand like, you know, when you're pregnant, you can't like be like crazy with your workouts and stuff like that. But this was just too slow and too boring and just so monotone. I just couldn't do it. I have a bunch of these e.l.f. lashes and I regret buying them. Oh my goodness. So the reason why is because I bought a bunch of these e.l.f. lashes back in the day when I made like a big old e.l.f. order simply because they were only like a dollar. And I was like, yeah, I can't go wrong with a dollar lashes. And I used to wear these a lot like when I first started YouTube because they were inexpensive and I thought, okay, they're inexpensive. I just put them on. But after trying other different brands of lashes, I realized these lashes don't work well for me because they're so stiff like, and so difficult to put on. And the particular one, the natural lash kit, it just, it doesn't look right on me. It makes, it doesn't look, I guess I'm into like natural looking lashes, but this feels uncomfortable. Like you can feel it when you have it on your eyelash um, area. And it just, it just doesn't work for me sadly. So I'll just leave it at that. I tried this Maybelline Define a Lash Waterproof Mascara hoping that it could be a waterproof mascara that I will like, but sadly, um, it comes out clumpy. That's one thing I don't like about it, and when I apply it on, it looks really clumpy. It doesn't lengthen, it doesn't volumize, it just clumps. Maybe the formula is bad, but another thing is, this is terrifying, you guys. Well, not. I guess I'm being dramatic, but another thing is like, it's so flimsy. You guys see how like flimsy it is? Sometimes when I'm taking it out and I'm trying to put on the mascara, it the mascara gunk will like splash everywhere and stain my clothes. I don't care about it staining my clothes, but then, you know, that's not the purpose of mascara. It's just so flimsy that you can't really work with the wand and the formula is just probably one of the worst formulas I've tried sadly. So I won't be repurchasing this or e I'm just gonna throw this out. I feel really bad for throwing things out that don't work for me, but I just can't work with this mascara. And the same goes for this mascara. It's the new CoverGirl Bombshell Volume by Lash Blast. It just doesn't work for me simply because I don't feel like it even creates volume for me. I know it's supposed to, but it just, my eyelashes look really clumpy and really bad when I have this on. And it's it's just not for me. And the packaging is huge. It's it's such a big um, container and I I just don't enjoy using this mascara. It, it just doesn't work for me. This YSL lipstick, the Rouge Volupte one that everyone and their mom was totally into probably like two years ago. I bought it also simply because everyone was hyping it and I seriously look a hot mess looking back at my old videos looking at how like I would wear these pinks that made me look crazy like I look like a like a zombie in it and 
these are just heights. They are not worth the money, I feel. It's beautiful packaging, absolutely gorgeous packaging, but I don't even, I don't like the smell of it. The smell makes me nauseous and the color is just not for me. I wouldn't wear it ever again. So um, in my humble opinion, I just don't think these are worth it. I've had this Jane Iredale blending brush for a long time and I just don't understand the point of this brush. It just, it doesn't blend and it says it's a blending brush. I've tried to use it for highlighting, I've tried to use it for blush, I've tried to use it for powder, foundation, to stipple my foundation on. It just doesn't work for me and the hairs, like, they, it just doesn't maintain its shape very well and it's, and it's not dense enough for me to use because it it just doesn't work for blending at all. I'm a huge fan of The Honest Company. I use The Honest Company for my son's diapers. I use it for his wipes, for his um, bottom wash um, spray. There's just so many things. I use their diaper cream, cleaning supplies, but this cleaning supply doesn't work for me. The Honest dishwasher pods are, they're terrible. They are just, so bad when I use the pods and I try to put it in the dishwasher, I will open the dishwasher and hope that the dishes will look shiny and nice, but they end up looking really like streaky and there's a lot of spots on them. They, they just don't work as well as the Cascade pods that I used to use. So I'm gonna go back to using my Cascade pods instead of this. There are so many things that I love from The Honest Company. Like the diapers are fantastic for my son. I also love um, their wipes, but this, it just doesn't work for me. It's They need to work on the formula because it's the worst dishwasher pod that I've ever tried. I don't have the bottle of this, but when I was pregnant, I was all about that Mama Mio stretch mark oil. Cause everyone was telling me, oh, you're not gonna get stretch marks if you use it. But I was huge when I was pregnant and I got so many stretch marks. So I feel like I shouldn't have spent over $30 a bottle on the oils. And I was all about it. It smelled so good, which is why I kept using it. I just enjoyed the smell. But like, honestly, it did not help with my stretch marks. There was nothing that was gonna help with my stretch marks. So um, the lesson that I learned is I shouldn't have splurged on that. Instead, I made my own, but still the one that I made there's just nothing that helps with stretch marks. If you're gonna get it, you're just gonna get it and that's it. And moving on to the whole topic of stretch marks, I've been trying this for over eight weeks now. It's the Mederma Stretch Marks Therapy. Guaranteed results or your money back. So I'm gonna get my money back. <laughs> um, it's supposed to help fade your stretch marks, but I have not seen any results at all at, in fading my stretch marks. I think it honestly takes years or like like more than six months for your stretch marks to fade if they ever do. And this just didn't work for me. And it's a really expensive product that you can get at Target. It's over $30. So I don't understand why it costs so much when it doesn't really do the job. Well, maybe it works for other people, but it simply didn't work for me. So those are things that didn't work for me. If they work for you, I'm so happy for you, but they just didn't work for me. And this is just my humble opinion on how they didn't work for me. And I'm not here trying to bash like these brands. It, it's just sometimes things don't work out. So I hope you didn't find this um, video too negative because I'm not trying to, you know, put any brands down because there's a lot of things that I like from Maybelline, just not their Definer Lash. There's a lot of things I love from CoverGirl, just not this, you know? So, and oh my gosh, St. Ives is one of my favorite, one of my favorite drugstore brands. So I was hoping, you know, this would work, but it didn't. So anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey friends, today I'm gonna show you a do-it-yourself mask that I have been loving. It's a great mask that helps with, you know, discoloration, darkness, and acne spots. So I hope you stay tuned and enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started with what you'll need. Plain white yogurt, 